Hello, and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible, and the first chapter of Leviticus. I consider the Leviticus the first true book where the laws are set down. True, in Exodus we were introduced to the Big Ten, but that I seem to recall that the rest of Exodus went on to concentrate on the building of the Tabernacle and the Ark of the Testimony. There is little in the way of narrative in Leviticus. However, as always, God's holy word is important, and we should always treat it with respect. So with that in mind, let's also open up God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you will reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus chapter 1 Yahweh called to Moses and spoke to him from the tent of meeting, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When any of you offers an offering to Yahweh, you shall offer your offering of the livestock from the herd from the flock. If his offering is a burnt offering from the herd, he shall offer a male without the fact. He shall offer it at the door of the tent of meeting, that he may be accepted before Yahweh. He shall lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted for him, to make atonement for him. He shall kill the bull before Yahweh. Aaron's sons, the priests, shall present the blood, and sprinkle the blood around on the altar that is at the door of the tent of meeting. He shall flay the burnt offering, and cut it into pieces. The sons of Aaron the priests shall put fire on the altar, and lay wood in order on the fire, and Aaron the sons of the priests shall lay the pieces, the head, and the fat, in order on the wood that is on the fire, which is on the altar, but its ends and its legs he shall wash with water. The priests shall burn all of it from the altar, for a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If his offering is from the flock, from the sheep or from the goats, for a burnt offering, he shall offer a meal without the fat. He shall kill it on the north side of the altar before Yahweh, and his sons the priests shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar, he shall cut it into its pieces, with its head and its fat. The priests shall lay them in order on the wood that is on the fire which is on the altar. But the innards and the legs he shall wash with water. The priest shall offer the whole and burn it on the altar. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, with a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If his offering to Yahweh is a burnt offering of birds, then he shall offer his offering of turtles, or of young pigeons. The priest shall bring it to the altar, and ring off his head and burn it on the altar, and its blood shall be drained out on the side of the altar. And he shall take away its crop, its filth, and cast it beside the altar on the east part, in the place of the ashes. He shall tear it by its wings, but shall not divide it apart. The priest shall burn it on the altar, and what that is on the fire. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, with a pleasant aroma to Yahweh.